Hi guys, it's Shami from Crafts Things and Things. So today we are going to make these beautiful bookmarks. Aren't those pretty? And they are made from our fabric paper. I've been promising you guys this tutorial for a while. Sorry it's been a little bit delayed, but um, I've been making other tutorials. <laughs> but I just want to show you how beautiful these bookmarks are. And they are made from our paper fabric, the one that we made on top of the contact paper, I'll put a link to the video below, and just lots of scraps. And this is the way the back looks of it, okay, just like that, so you can see all those scraps in there. And I love making tags and bookmarks out of this paper. It's so beautiful and unique, and you see all these scraps inside. And then this is the front, and I just use homemade stamps, not even homemade stamps, I just use bubble wrap, and a big bottle cap. That's it. And then I just smeared, just with my fingers, just um, the paints in. So I used a pink metallic, a purple metallic paint, gold metallic paint, that kind of thing. And it comes, you know, in a pretty big sheet. This is my big sheet. You know? So I've just been cutting down from that. But when you get a lot of scraps, like um, I like to use punches, circle punches. I have two different sizes. So I always have a lot of scraps left over for that. So I save that. Um, for my paper fabric, but this is a very very simple project. All you're going to need is is some paint, and then I got these foam stamps from the dollar store. So this is what I'll be using, and they're cute. They come in a pack, and they're just like a dollar, and they work great. And then I have just some quotes that I, you know, printed off my computer, and this is just a little one that I made. It doesn't have to quote on there, but I just love it. It's so pretty. It has a dragonfly in it. And then I'm going to use my DIY um, little bottles that I made for um, paint markers, paint pens. Super easy. I'll put that video below too. And then I'm going to use my Deco Page Gloss Sealer. Okay. And I am going to um, give you measurements for the bookmarks um, just so that you guys will have an idea. I definitely do not measure. You guys know that. But... Um, so what size I like to make my bookmarks are, I like to make them about seven, seven inches long, okay, so seven inches long, which this piece just happens to be, and then two inches wide, okay, so you just do that, I'm going to mark it off here. And I know that I can just cut it straight. And I like to include um, these bookmarks just in Happy Mail or um, just for your crafty friends, kind of. Um, you could probably sell them too. They're so unique and beautiful that I think that you would definitely get to buy them. But for my bookmarks, I make them about seven inches long by two inches wide. I just think that that's a good kind of measurement and I don't care if it's perfect or anything. Um, sometimes this paper is a little hard to cut through so make sure you have a good pair of scissors and it's going to be a little wonky. You know each one side is going to be a little off and if you want you can straighten that out but it doesn't really bother me but I'm just going to try to straighten it out a little bit and maybe flatten out that corner. Okay just like that. And these make great tags. I did do a video on how I make my tags, and I don't have a tag punch or anything. I just, you know, trace them and cut them out. And they're even better. I mean, because this material is so lightweight. It's not heavy at all. So um, it's a really good way um, to, it's a really good um, material to make tags out of. And the tags are so unique because you can see, you know, all the pieces of paper on the inside. Okay. So let's work with these two for now. And as you can see, one's longer than the other, one's wider than the other. I'm just going to try to even it out if I can a little bit. But I'm not too worried about it. I like things to be unique and not perfect. So, no. So that's fine by me. Okay. Maybe we'll trim a little bit off. But just so you get roughly, you know, seven and a half by whatever. So. I have my paintbrush, okay, and I have some black paint. That's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to squirt it on my mat a little bit, okay. And then I have my foam stamp, and I'm just going to stamp 
right on this material. And it already has a beautiful background, so if you wanted to, you really don't need a stamp, but I just like to, to add stamps, especially these pretty foam ones, because um, you can outline them pretty beautifully. And I did not get that edge rip very good today, so I'm going to try to place it over where I had it, just to make sure we get that petal. You just add a little bit more paint and then as you can see I've been stamping before so I just use the leftover on my mat just like that and it's a little bit uneven like the um, you know the surface that I'm using um, the fabric paper has a whole bunch of texture so just kind of keep that in mind you might not get the best impression the first couple of times then I like to go off a little bit okay so I just take my stamp and I partially put it on the paper, okay? So I'm not going to get a full flower, okay? And I'm going to go here the same way, okay? And we're going to go right up here. And right there, okay? All right, okay? And then I'm just going to grab my hole punch. And um, hole punches can be a little tricky. If you have a thick piece of paper, you might have to use something to poke out the hole. But this is just a regular old hole punch that I got from the dollar store. And I just punch it through. You kind of have to wiggle it a little bit to get it out, but it's fine. Okay. Perfect. And we can punch this one while I'm here. That's all you're going to do. And I mean, you can make a whole batch of these in no time. You know, just have them in your stash um, just to give to people. I think I'm going to do another dragonfly because I really like that one. So we're going to just put some paint down. And we're going to do a dragonfly. Maybe we'll do two dragonflies because I think I have room for two. Even though I'd like to do threes and three, just think it gets it better. Just looks a little better. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. I just want to use that up, okay? Alrighty then. And then I'm thinking that. With the dragonfly, I definitely want like kind of an off impression on the corners, I think. And it's great because you have all this beautiful um, paper when you're done. It's awesome. Okay. All right. So. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my um, tassel. So I got this from the dollar store. It's just a big old um, bundle of just different textures and um, textiles and all sorts of stuff. So there's um, some of it. It's just beautiful. It's yarn mixed with just a whole bunch of ribbons and stuff. I have two of these because I bought two of them when I saw this. I said, this is totally beautiful. And I just kind of eyeball, you know, how big I think it should be. I don't like mine too long, but I just really like the, um, the effect that it gives. So just take it and, you know, and I have about maybe five or six strands. Nothing crazy. And here I just have a handy little metal skewer, and it's great, you know, for helping you to thread things through. So I'm just going to take this little hole here, put that in, and I love making bookmarks. They are just so much fun to make, and I have a lot of videos on how to make bookmarks. So They're kind of one of my first videos that I made, so... You might have to go back a lot, but I have a lot of videos that, you know, that I did before, um, before I had so many subscribers, so, yeah. 
definitely think that that needs a little bit more. So I'm just going to take it and just thread some more through. So I think it's maybe about 10 or 12 little strands. You know what? I'm just going to take it out and we'll just do it again. It's kind of a little challenging with these because some of them are just straight up string, you know, so it does make it difficult. And I might just do one on camera so this video is not too long, but I made a whole stack of them as you see. But it didn't take very long. I mean, if you just have all your stuff out and uh, do one step at a time, it doesn't take very long. And then you have your little, the little loop here, and all you do is bring those tails right through, just like that. Okay? And then you have, you know, just a little tassel. Okay? Very cool. Alrighty. <coughs> now I'm going to get out my quote first. And I like to include quotes. So I just have um, just a file of my favorite like short quotes um, that go on things very, very easily. And that's what I use. So this one says, it is not the length of life, but the depth of life. So I really love that one. Just kind of things that speak to me. You know, and I like giving people encouraging words, so definitely. And you're just going to kind of decide where you want to place your words, and you can see them there. Sorry, the light's a little strange today. It's really coming in. And it rained here, but not for very long. And I love the rain. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I wish they really, really, really had rain, though, but no such luck. And you can make these off or straight or however you want. Okay, just like that. And I'm just going to grab my decu page here. Okay, just making sure that my brush isn't too dried out there. Okay, I'm just going to take it, just stick it down there just like that, and then you brush it right on top. And I really am I'm enjoying this deco page and I love this because even though it's covered with a lot of paint you can still see the layers of the paper underneath so I think that that's pretty awesome and I'm using the gloss kind because I like things shiny um, but you could absolutely use matte you know deco page or deco patch glue um, and I did I got a little bit of um, a paint on my fingers so it ended up on depth but I don't care I think that just adds character this is just fun so it does not need to be perfect not even a little bit okay it's just a good time okay and then I just go over and brush everything in. okay and then while that's doing its thing I just get out my DIY little um, paint pins that I made in the video and these are just fine applicator bottles that I bought on eBay and um, you get four of them and it's a great way to use um, yeah to replace paint pens because they're expensive and yeah annoying sometimes at least for me so I'm just gonna kind of outline the flowers so I'm kind of deciding what I'm gonna do here and I think I'm gonna stick with the gold and metallic gold and white those are kind of my favorite together with purple oh my gosh I love that color combination okay and then maybe this center too so I'm going to get all the centers of the flowers first okay and then I'm going to kind of think about well what I'm going to outline them so I'm going to outline the petals and these are really great to work with even though I cannot trace anything to save my life, I can definitely work with these. So you just take it and very slowly, you just kind of outline your stamp. And you don't have to go to the dollar store, you know, and get um, and get special stamps. Oops, why did that stop working? You can, um, oh, where's my pen? It must be clogged some time. Um, you can just cut out your own with fun foam and I have a lot of videos on how to make your own stamps too. Oh yeah, 
I think it was a really big plug. There we go. Okay. That has never happened to me before, and I've been using this thing like crazy. It must be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And you can make the lines as thick or as thin as you want. I kind of made mine a little thick, but I like thick. I really want it to be outlined well. And it just adds some visual interest, and this will get flat when it dries, just like a paint pen. But the white is really white which I love. You know how sometimes it grays a little bit when you have paint pins? It does not do that with your own DIY pins. I'm just going to kind of go in the edges. So this part takes a little bit more time, but it's totally worth it just to outline and add some decoration. Okay, and you know what? I should not cover up that word, huh? should try to avoid that word. So I'm going to just brush that off. Add a little bit of paint and we're going to leave these two alone. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to just make sure that my white's okay. It's clogged too. So we're just going to stick our pen in. Okay. A lot easier than, you know, having to shake it up and all that stuff. So we're just going to take this and make little dots to the center of our flowers. So it's like you're doodling with a paint pin only you're using a fine applicator bell. So it's really cool. There we go. And the fabric paper has a lot of texture on its own, so it's just fun to work with. It's like one of my favorite things to make for sure. And then we're just going to make little lines in these. Just like that. And then I am going to put a white dot on the petals of every flower. And I think that this could even further use more doodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in up here and I'm going to make some white lines. Can you see that? So I'm just making some white lines, just thin lines. I'm going to try not to get on length again. And I'm going to take my gold. Push a little bit too hard on the gold always, but that's all right. And yeah, so you have that, those beautiful little lines with the little bumps, which I love. So that's how it looks when you're all done. Now, all I do to, so I would just set this out and let it dry. You know, like, look at how pretty that is. And you can see the quotes, but it's just beautiful. Now, all I do to finish them off is I just grab my ink pad And a makeup sponge that I get from the dollar store. And these are completely dry, see? And see, the paint does kind of stick up a little bit. Um, and I use, you know, my DIY paint pens to do that. So just going to go around the edges. And that just kind of brings everything together. Just very gently, just take your ink pad and do that. If you don't have ink, use acrylic paint. And that works just as well. And that gives you a really sharp beautiful edge but that's how they look when they're done isn't that pretty so yeah it's just a fun easy way for you to make beautiful bookmarks you know, just to throw into happy mail and make sure you sign the back so and this stuff you can write on very easily so I can and you know I had some people ask me you know because they they saw my work and they were like well um, is there any way that we can, you know, purchase something that we see in a video? And absolutely you can. If you're interested in something that you see me making on camera, yeah, just private message me or my the link to my Etsy shop is um, in the description. So you can absolutely do it either way. Okay, and then I can just sign my name. So I can just put Shani. And then I can put year 
2015. Okay, just like that. Right? And I just have this beautiful bookmark. And this is the one that we made that needs to dry. And isn't this tassel beautiful? I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to finish this baby up that we stamped. Put my coat down, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.